Now, if you do have a heat pump, like in this house, the primary heat source is a geothermal heat pump. Most heat pumps, including that one, have as a built-in secondary heat source electric strip heat, just like a baseboard heater, just like a portable, um, portable space heater, just like your stove. Basically, it's all the same. It's an element, electricity goes through it, it gets hot. Very inefficient and very expensive to run. But when it gets cold enough outside, a heat pump might not be strong enough, might not have the capability to pull the heat it needs and heat up your house. In this house, they turned off that electric strip heat. That, that's what's often called the emergency heat in a heat pump. They turned it off so it cannot turn on. And they have this wood, wood stove instead. The wood stove is obviously it's manual, but when you know it's going to be very cold, you can get the wood stove going. The other advantage out here in rural areas is that if the power goes out, you can still have heat from the wood stove, whereas the heat pump won't help you out. One thing that a lot of people do wrong, and not, not in your case, because you barely even use it, but a heat pump has a secondary heat source. Usually it's electric strip heat, which means it's the same as a baseboard, but it's within the unit. And if you crank the temperature too fast, say, say you left it at uh, 65 while you were away at work, and you come home and you crank it up to 72, it can't deal with that that much difference quickly enough, mm -hmm. it's going to kick in the secondary heat, which is really expensive. So a lot of people don't realize that and they, they just set it up that way and suddenly their heat pump's not saving them any money at all. All that I was talking about, about secondary heat, mm -hmm. that's your EM heat, which, which stands for emergency heat. Because um, really that's what it's used for when, when the system can't deal. So it's sort of called the emergency heat. Mm -hmm. You don't want that running. Um, the cool and heat, those are obvious. Uh -huh. What auto means is you're letting the system decide if it's going to heat or cool. Okay. So maybe it's the middle of winter, you have it on auto and there's a really warm day that happens and suddenly your air conditioner's going, um, which you don't really want in the winter. So I'd say in the winter you keep it on heat, in the summer you keep it on cool. Okay. I don't use the auto function because, you know, I mean, I don't know, really cold day in the summer, you don't, you might want the heat on, maybe. Yeah, sometimes. But in the winter, you really don't want the AC, do no. you? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I never did understand what EM heat was. Okay. Yeah, and if it's, it, it'll probably show you when it's on. Um, and then, let's see. So it's set, what does that say? 64. Set to 64. I'd, I'd put that even lower. Because cause you really don't want that going on. Okay. And your heat set. So you have actually that... You had it at 65, was that? Uh, I don't was know. It? Okay, so now you had it set kind of backwards. So, okay. so at 64, the emergency heat would come on, but only at 60 would the heat pump work. Got it. So now we, we put that the other way around. But if I had it on heat, and it was 60 and then the emergency, would the emergency heat then come on? It, it will, it's, it's timed in such a way that the thermostat will, will determine if it decides it can't reach the heat you've asked it to, to achieve yeah. within a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. it'll automatically kick in the emergency heat. Got it. There is a kind of a fail safe that apparently a lot of HVAC guys don't put in it comes with the unit, but they often they don't put it in because they get callbacks of people complaining. Mm -hmm. But what it does, it sits in the outside unit and it stops the emergency heat from being able to come on unless the outside temperature was below its thermostat setting, which is, say, 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. So that way, no matter how much you crank it, you won't get emergency heat. Mm -hmm. and that, that's good. But... Yeah, I'm told a lot of HVAC guys throw it out because if they put it in, the, they get calls from people saying, My heat's saying, not working. My heat's not working. <laughs> right. And they have to come out and deal with it. Yeah. 